Hey man, uh, so this is the Courtney Shane Williams podcast. Um, I got a lot to talk about. Uh, little Herm Edwards, a lot of sports talk. Tiger Woods. Uh, I try to get to all of it. I got a lot of stuff uh, that I really want to address. So, uh, man, let's just get it going. Here we go. And she throws out whatever she eat. She leave the bathroom with a nosebleed. Regular girl, celebrity dream. She is. She live her whole life like TV. She would do anything for everything. A regular girl, celebrity dream. She is. Miss Rodeo. Hello, welcome to the uh, Court of Shane Williams podcast. It's been a while, I've been tired, I've been working, I've had no time. It's Saturday afternoon, and I just want to go ahead and get this out. I don't know when, it, this, this might not be up till Tuesday, so, you know, <laughs> the world might be over. It will be on YouTube, uh, the world will be ending, and I'll be trying to upload my podcast, so, uh, Hopefully y'all have been listening. I'll take a sip of tea. I don't know if I got sick or what. I don't know what happened. I'm drinking tea. Uh, part of the reason I went shopping today. This whole Christmas shopping thing is starting to really get out of control. I mean, when Jesus was born, I wonder if his dad thought one day people are just going to lose their mind two weeks before my son's birthday. Like, I... I have no idea what's going on with this Christmas shopping. And why? No one shops. No one shops. I didn't see anybody buying anything. It's people just in the way. I think Christmas has just become a reason for the public to get in the way. In the way on the street. Trying to walk in the way. You're not buying anything. Get out, get out the way. Move. So I went Christmas shopping. <laughs> That is what it is. It gets to the point where, like, literally, I want to go to Starbucks and buy a coffee and just dump it on people. <laughs> All right, so, uh, here we go. Let's get this out of the way quick. Notre Dame uh, hired a new football coach. Uh, good luck. Three years. Get ready to be fired. Next. Um, yo, you know who I've been loving? Like, and this is a weird obsession. I got to get it out. Some of y'all might not understand, especially if you don't like sports. If you don't, you know, be, just all you need to do, go on YouTube right now. If you listen on this computer right now, if you listen to this uh, iPod, uh, all right, thank you for the support. But right now, type up YouTube or Google, whatever, Herman Edwards, play to win the game. Y'all, if y'all listen to y'all, dude, Herm Edwards, now he works for ESPN, he's so intense at all times. I mean, Herm goes from zero to 100 in like one point. Herm Edwards' brain is a Ferrari. I mean, that thing is quick. I mean, he he's like, he's like Bob Knight without the cursing. <laughs> zero to 100 says exactly, and I mean... Believes everything he says. Hermit, I used to want to meet Spike Lee and Bill Cosby. Those are like the two guys I really wanted to meet. Spike Lee and Bill Cosby. Herm Edwards just went to the top of the list. I mean, you're like yesterday. I mean, Zero 200 is so intense. So intense. And he has a lot of points. He used to coach the uh, New York Jets and then he coached the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, he was fired. And now he works for ESPN and, um, his first year. And he's fantastic. I think ESPN has him on more shows now, too, and so they know he's fantastic. And the thing is, like, other people will be talking. His, his reactions <laughs> his reactions are, like, ridiculous. Like, he'll just twist his face up and look at people like a, you know, a weird, I don't know, man. Just twist his face all up like a two-year-old and just look at you like you're stupid. You know, it, it's, it's getting to the point where, like, other people will be talking but they'll keep the camera on him. Like, like no matter what happens, they just keep the camera on Herman Edwards. You know, so I love Herman Edwards. Um, so here we go. Uh, Tiger Woods. Man, man, man. It doesn't stop. It doesn't stop, man. You know? I mean, now, 
old white women going to the hospital and the text messages. Come on, man. You texting people? You Tiger Woods? You don't have to text nobody. I gotta text people. I'm a regular guy. I gotta text people. Tell my, you know, get my TV show. <laughs> I gotta text people. Tiger, you don't have to text anybody. You understand? You can keep it in your pocket. You can walk up to people. You know I'm Tiger Woods. Well, thank you. Texting people. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, I'm at the golf tournament. We know where you are. You on TV, nigga. What's wrong with you? That's why, see, that's why I should have been embracing Jim Brown. Jim Brown, number one, you might not cheat on his wife. Number two, if he did it, wouldn't be no text messages. Jeez, like, I don't know what Africa this nigga came from, but he didn't get all the rules, man. <laughs> don't text people. You got an old white woman going to the hospital, you texting people. When did her mother-in-law get in town? Like, come on. It's two on one. Jeez. I mean, this has to be the worst incident of a man just cheating. Like, man, Kobe cheated on his wife, you know, got accused of rape. You know, but Jesus, Tiger. Tiger got to go on Oprah. Kobe was fighting that case during the season. Tiger stopped golfing. He got to go on Oprah. And... Jeez. Oh. Last thing I want to talk about in sports. Last thing, the Kentucky Wildcats and Mr. John Wall. I start calling him Mr. after I seen what he did to UConn. Mr. John Wall. NBA. I don't know if he's the number one pick. Uh, you know what I mean? He, he, I'll rephrase that. He, he, as of right now, he should be the number one pick in the draft. I don't know if he'll be the best NBA player out of that draft. What I do know is he, he got some tools. He got some tools, and he plays like a grown man. It's obvious he's overmatched. It's obvious they can't keep up with him. It's obvious he's the best right now. And, and, and props to John Calipari. He, I think, I think it's very weird that every Final Four he's been to has been stripped away for um, – doing things the wrong way or things being done or people not being eligible, whatever it is. I think it's very odd, but guess what? He can spot people that are NBA players. I'll tell you that much. The dude's big-time NBA players. I mean, in the last three years, they have three lottery picks and probably two number ones. Who else has did that? Props to John Calipari. Hey, guess what? I wanted to coach my team. <laughs> and dirty or not, coach my team. So props to John Calipari. Props to Kentucky, have fun. Um, Tiger Woods, stay up. Notre Dame, <laughs> uh, you got the next coach to fire. Hey, Herman, if anyone knows Herman Edwards that is listening to this show, please tell him I want to meet him. Please. To Herman, please, I want to meet you. I really want to meet Herman Edwards. He went to the top of my list. Um, make this a quick podcast. I got to go to the comedy club tonight and uh, get some work done. So, uh Thank you all for tuning in. If you have, I'm going to upload this hopefully immediately. Um, continue to uh, listen. Uh, make sure you catch me on YouTube. Feel free to uh, comment. Uh, it's Courtney Shane Williams. Email me. Uh, Courtney's, Courtney Williams Podcast at gmail.com. Uh, thank you all for tuning in. Uh, see you next time. Peace. You just witnessed an on-purpose production.